all the strategies that you've implemented that haven't gotten you where you want to go. So you surrender those up and you say, okay, <laughs> got that out of the way, did my research, all the, I am empty of those strategies and the expectations that came from them so that I can start to implement God's strategy for my life. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi there, Steve Arterburn here. Thanks for joining me for Going Deeper. And we're going deeper into the soul of a hero. Now, if you want to be a hero, if you want to nurture the soul that you have within you, or you want to nurture a soul uh, of a hero, here's some things that are really important for that future hero to know. First of all, we need to be a hero to ourselves. So rather than go out and save somebody else, we need to be sure we've saved ourselves first. Now, that doesn't mean our effort, our good works are going to save us. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about eternal life, but I'm talking about fitting into uh, what God has called us to do, what God wants us to do. And I'll talk about that next time. But here, we want to be sure that as a person, we, we, we know where we are in life. Now, for instance, let's say I had a big mountain over here, and that's where I am. And I have a big mountain over here, and that's where I want to be. It's a big mountain. Well, if I don't know where I am, then how am I ever going to figure out how to get where I want to be? So the, the person that, that wants to be a hero, you can't be faking it. You can't be superficial. You come to the Lord as you are, but you know where you are. Come as you are, know where you are. Uh, if you think you're uh, spiritually mature, uh, that you are a genius at Bible literature or whatever, and then other people are saying you're the most superficial, uh, unaware person, then there's a little bit of a conflict there that we have to deal with. So what do you do? Well, you come as you are. That's what, that's what God wants you to do. And you also come empty. Now, you don't need to be desperate to be empty, but you essentially are surrendering all the things that you've tried, all the strategies that you've implemented that haven't gotten you where you want to go. So you surrender those up and you say, okay, <laughs> got that out of the way, did my research, all the, I am empty of those strategies and the expectations that came from them so that I can start to implement God's strategy for my life. Another thing is, you, you come as a child. Now, it's just really silly to say come as a child, but what, what is a child? A child is uh, full of energy, life, eager to learn, wanting to do new things, uh, wanting to be on and in an adventure. And so there's this childlike person that you want to be, and, and it's kind of a willingness to follow Jesus the way a child follows the parent, the small child. So you come as you are, you come empty, you know where you are, you know the kind of strategies that you've given up, and you come as a child. That, that uh, you know, when Scripture says a child uh, shall lead them, then it's saying be like that child with that anticipation, that willingness, that excitement for life. Now, I got to tell you, a lot of folks are full of anxiety because they've never ever given up a strategy that doesn't work. It might work a little bit, but you're always worried, when's that strategy going to fall apart? A lot of people are depressed because they've picked some strategies that have ended up with the exact opposite result that they were looking for. And that's so sad when that ever happens to us. 
And you know, there are a lot of people that are angry, angry at God and angry at other people because those strategies haven't worked. Wow. It's just so great when we can say, humbly say, I am giving up this strategy that simply has not worked for me. I am willing to come as a child and surrender all of those things to the Lord and become a hero for Him and a hero through Him and with Him. That's when we start to nurture the soul of a hero. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.